Hello there, and welcome to another character profile. Everybody has their favorite Disney sidekicks. Some have a preference for Jiminy Cricket, while others like Louis the Alligator, and Tinkerbell has her fans as well. However, if you were to ask me who my favorite Disney sidekicks are, I would have to say they are without a doubt Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King. Ever since I first saw that epic blockbuster on its initial release back in 1994, they were the characters that I enjoyed the most, and that is still the case today. It's particularly impressive that even with the Mouse House always milking them, they have not worn out their welcome. So, let's take a look at the history of these two very funny characters. Timon and Pumbaa, much like the rest of the film, were inspired by William Shakespeare's play Hamlet. Much like Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, they served as the comic relief of the piece, giving advice to Simba while also giving comedic asides. However, unlike their Shakespearean counterparts, they aren't working for the protagonist's scheming uncle. As for their species, Timon is a meerkat and Pum is a warthog, and their odd pairing is actually something right out of the classic comedy, with Timon being the thin best friend to the pudgy Pumba. Good idea. Hey, come on Timon, you guys have to create a diversion. What do you want me to do, dress and drag and do the hula? Wow! If you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat, eat my buddy Pumbaa here because the end is green. Coming down a dime, on a tasty swine, all you have to do is get in line. Ah, you ain't gonna... Yup, yup, yup. Awesome bacon! Yup, yup, yup. He's a big pig! Yup, yup. You can be a big pig too! <laughs> but they're definitely the best of best of friends. They also share the philosophy of Hakuna Matata that they hand out to Simba, which means, no worries. This then leads to one of the most memorable and beloved songs from The Lion King, in which Timon and Pumbaa introduce Simba to their way of life, and he grows up with them. Matata? Yeah, it's our motto! What's a motto? Nothing! What's a motto with you? <laughs> <laughs> Originally, Elton John and Tim Rice wrote a different song to be sung in this scene called Warthog Rhapsody. And as much as I really like Hakuna Matata, this wouldn't have been a bad song for them to sing either. Timon and Puma were also going to sing Can You Feel the Love Tonight in its entirety, but Elton John ultimately killed that idea, and so they only sing the beginning and end of the song. I can see what's happening. What? And they don't have a clue. Who? Oh, they'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Oh. The sweet caress of twilight. There's magic everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disaster's in the air. Interesting enough, Tim Rice really wanted Rick Mail and Adrian Edmondson to voice the roles as he was a big fan of the television series Bottom. But in the end, the filmmakers went with Nathan Lane and Ernie Sabella. Originally, they were going to voice the hyenas, but the directors felt that Timon and Pumbaa were a better fit. As much as I really like Bottom, and they would have been interesting choices, I honestly think Lane and Sabella were perfect. In a way, I credit Lane's extremely funny voice work as to why Timon is probably one of my top five favorite Disney characters, and probably why I'm usually connected with that meerkat at such a young age. Timon! Yeah? Ever wonder what those sparkly dots are up there? Pumba. I don't wonder. I know. Oh. What are they? They're fireflies. Fireflies that uh, got stuck up in that big bluish black thing. Seriously, ever since I first watched The Lion King, I was obsessed with Timon and Pumbaa, and even got the plush toys. Unfortunately, Timon seems to have been lost somewhere in this house. I will find you, Timon. I will find you again one of these days. Anyway, here's a bit of trivia for you. Pumbaa is actually a major historical character in the history of the House of Mouse, as being the first Disney animated character to have a flash lunch.
with how beloved these characters are, Disney sought to quickly cash in on them. In 1995, an animated series starring the duo was produced, and despite taking on a more Ren and Stimpy style approach to the material, and sharing extremely little continuity with The Lion King, it was still a fun and enjoyable show. The use of modern devices didn't bother me, and I enjoyed their treks around the world. While you got to see Simba, Rafiki, Zazu, and the Hyenas, there were also a number of new characters that Timon and Pumbaa encountered on their journeys, like the evil explorer Quint and Speedy the Snail. The series went on for an impressive 7 seasons and 85 episodes, way above the 65 episode limit Disney used to give their animated programming. Uncle Timon! Isn't he the handsomest warthog you've ever seen, Timon? And he looks just like me! Pumbaa! Notice the broad, flat head? Yeah. Long, scaly body? Uh-huh. Clawed hands and feet? Yep. And serrated tail? Right. And what does this all add up to? Pumba Jr. No! He's not Pumba Jr. He's not even a warthog. He's a chicken. And an ugly chicken at that. Ah! Get the ugly chicken off me! Get that ugly chicken off me! Oh, would you look at that? Pumba Jr.'s hungry. <laughs> Naturally, when The Lion King made a leap to the Broadway stage, Timon and Pumbaa went along with it. For Timon, they applied a Japanese puppetry technique by having the actor wearing camouflage and holding a giant puppet. For Pumbaa, they put the actor in a giant Pumbaa head, and he could even move the mouth around. Hey, it's Julie Tamer. What character designs were you expecting? Though, if you haven't seen the Broadway musical, it's phenomenal and a must-see. For The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, they return to eat more insects, provide their usual funny asides, and also become a babysitter to Simba's daughter, Kiara. Oh, don't worry, Kiara! Uncle Pumba's coming! Oh, no! Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, gee, Simba, the good news is we found your daughter. The bad news is we dropped a warthog on her. Is there a problem with that? Kiara? Kiara? Pumba, let me define babysitting! This is one of the rare good Disney directed video sequels, and neither Timon nor Pumba have lost any of what made them funny and appealing characters. Darling, with your complexion, you should stay out of the sun. What? Do you want a wrinkle? Will somebody please just listen to me? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Did you say something, princess? I'm not just a princess, you know. That's only half of who I am. Oh, uh, who's the other half? After getting their own television series, it was only deserving that our favorite Meerkat and Warthog were then honored with starring roles in a feature film. Thus came The Lion King One and a Half, another one of the good efforts from the Disney Toon Studios. Taking the same approach that was given to their inspiration in Tom Stoppard's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead, this is a twist on The Lion King as it looks at the film from their point of view. Ignoring the continuity of the show, this again shows how the two of them met, got to know Simba, and you see that non-canon impact on the original classic. Oh, perfect. We moved to the theater district. Got a lot of these guys. Again, Lane and Sabella have no perfect chemistry, and most of the jokes thrown at us manage to hit more than they miss. The songs are great too, one of which is adapted from Warthog Rhapsody. A little bully breeze, a little patch of green, and I'll be soothed in my hammock by a rippling stream. Many miles from any tunnel and the digging team. Looking after number one will be my only creed. That's all I need. And that's all I need. I've always been good at running away, but now I'm gonna run the show. I've always been seen as the ultimate prey, but now my status ain't so quo! Overall, it really develops their relationship and really shows how much they care for each other. So while it's very funny, it also hits the right emotional notes as well. If you're a big fan of Timon and Pumbaa like I am, this is highly recommended as a Disney sequel that does work. I don't have a home. You don't? What happened? Are you lost? 
No place good enough for you? What, you're all alone in this big empty world? Truth is, I'm all alone too. Pumba, you're the only friend I've ever had. You mean? Yeah, Pumba. And friends stick together to the end. In recent years, Timon and Pumba have become safety instructors in a series of videos produced by Disney Educational Productions, and are also currently sponsors for 3D Blu-ray players. And this September, you'll get to see the pair coming at you in the third dimension when The Lion King is re-released at your local multiplex. In conclusion, there is a reason why these two have endeared for as long as they have. While they could have disrupted the flow in a film as dark as The Lion King, they actually proved to be important parts of the plot in shaping Simba the way he is. Did I also mention that they're really funny? Well, see you next time, and remember... Let my lifestyle be your reference frame. As long as you stand upwind, your guide must be this rhapsody. I get up when I like. He's got it all.